First, Peter Strzok, now the House Judiciary Committee, wants to question former Deputy Attorney General Bruce Orr and others in the Russia probe. Subpoenas could come as early as today. My next guest is suing for documents involving Orr and others. Tom Fitton is the president of Judicial Watch. He joins me now. Tom, good to see you. Hey, Chris. How are you? What do you think uh, might be there? What is, what is your concern surrounding Orr? Well, it's Orr's communications with Fusion GPS, who was hired by the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee to, uh, quote, investigate Trump. They came up with the dossier authored by Christopher Steele. Orr's problem was he involved himself in that investigation, and his wife was hired by Fusion GPS, Nellie Orr. So we've been asking for documents uh, and having to sue repeatedly on these very issues. And we just had to file yet another lawsuit to get this basic information about w what war was up to with Fusion GPS and Steel. So you've got to include Peter Strzok, who had this anti-Trump agenda that included having an insurance policy and wanting to stop Trump. You have Bruce Orr, whose wife worked at Fusion GPS, the Clinton campaign vendor. You had Christopher Steele, who another Judicial Watch lawsuit showed the FBI deemed not to be a suitable confidential human source but who, according to the documents leaked to Congress this week, uh, show that Orr was meeting with repeatedly to launder his information back into the FBI. It's an unholy corrupt mess over at DOJ and FBI, the way Steele was handled. Orr's at the center of it, struck Orr. Uh, Congress is on the right track. And finally, asking some of these people questions, it's been too long. Yeah, it, it certainly seems pretty incestuous here. I mean, given the, <laughs> the, the, the right FBI, given Fusion GPS, and then you, you get over to this British spy who uh, went and solicited information from his Russian contacts. Let me ask you something, Tom. Do you think there's any chance that Vladimir Putin might have known this was all going on? I mean, if you want to use the, the greatest thing in our society against us, which is the openness of our society, um, maybe maybe you're, you're able to do that in a way that really uh, undermines our faith in our institutions. Well, it looks like Steele may have been using Russia linked sources uh, to uh, drum up this salacious and unverified uh, dossier targeting Trump. And why were the Russians trying uh, to make Trump look bad? Were they trying to hold something over Trump in order to get him to do things? Why wasn't Trump warned about this uh, prior to his uh, being elected to the presidency? Uh, you know, look at the way sure. they treated President Trump with uh, Dianne Feinstein. No, I mean, it's a really good comparison, right? They went and warned her and they told her, hey, we think that you may have a spy uh, among your, your staff members. And she was able to deal with that as opposed to in this situation. Then the government just starts spying on the campaign. Um, so certainly uh, not the same kind of treatment. Let me ask you this, Tom. What but, are you but, trying but the, to get from the, the DOJ? The Clinton campaign was the vehicle for the Russians to intimidate Trump and, what, to, try, and try to make Trump miserable. Uh, what are you trying to get from the DOJ? What specific documents are you looking for? We're looking for a communication. Uh, between or uh, his wife using GPS and Christopher Steele mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you've got to ask all different offices in the Justice Department and just to get essentially if you're pursuing one topic you sometimes have to file multiple Freedom of Information Act requests and lawsuits and the problem with this Justice Department is you can't get any answers you can't get any documents without a lawsuit and we've had to file right. more lawsuits against this Justice Department I think than any previous Justice Department okay. uh, well, that we've had. Been I know you've been filing, you've been very busy filing away. So uh, keep it up because Americans need information. Thank you, Tom Fitton. Good to see you. You're welcome.